Ich fange von der Maus. Okay, so, hi everyone, this is my first time speaking. Um, I'm Jacob, so I'm going to talk about how front-end development is hard. Can you, can you hear me? Is it okay? So, um, well, alternative topics to this talk were actually like, um, should I do something about grid, CSS grid? Uh, something related to CSS or front-end? If not, um, why did we agree to talk, uh, talk CSS? Um, so, so what happens was, I was supposed to speak at the previous one, but I, I pulled out last minute because of, of work. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, a bit about myself, I'm a uh, front-end developer at Mini Theory. Um, I tweet on Twitter, and uh, I write on Medium, so <clears throat> I have some quite interesting posts there, so do check it out. Okay, so topic for the day, front-end development is hard. Um, it is time to actually address the elephant in the room, that uh, front-end development is actually indeed hard. Um, why is it hard? For, for something that you can actually learn at like a booting code, uh, coding bootcamp in like maybe six, six weeks, um, and with such low barrier to entry, why, why is it hard? Um, so I've been a front-end developer for close to about four years, so I have a bit of experience. Um, yeah, so let's look at the um, three core pillars uh, in front end. Um, we have HTML, you have CSS, and um, you have JS. And uh, these three core pillars are actually um, the three important uh, tools that any um, front end developer would need uh, to start their front end journey. And um, so why is it hard? Often we get asked these questions. Uh, isn't it just CSS, HTML, and JavaScript? Um, can you change this checkbox into a radar button? Or can you give me an estimate on how long can this will take? And um, often at times the answer is nope. So let's have a look at uh, HTML. So HTML, it's um, here to make life difficult. Um, the D is silent. Um, so no, no, HTML is actually a hypertext markup language, which is the, uh, the markup used to creating uh, websites and web pages. Um, so within HTML, we often have to choose between um, two sort of structures, one being on the left, where you can see it's uh, the ambiguous structure, uh, aka the div soup, and on the right, um, you have slightly more identifiable sections. Um, you have a header, you have um, article and a footer. And um, so on the right, it, it's, it's, it's what's known as a semantic HTML. And um, why do we choose the one on the right? Uh, that's because um, for accessibility purposes, really. Um, so for screen readers, for they, they often um, need to, so, so, for, so screen, screen readers work by reading out the content. And if you will have if you build your HTML on, on the left, it's going to be like diff, 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 diff. Uh, whereas on the right, it'll be like header. So, so at least a person using a screen would know how these sections are divided. And um, also for your general sanity, when you come back to review a project, maybe like three to six months later, you sort of at least understand how your project is broken up into. <coughs> okay. And now for CSS, which I like to call um, cascading shitstorm. Um, <laughs> if it works right, it is actually um, cascading style shit. But if it's wrong, then it is a shitstorm. So CSS is basically how your elements actually appear on paper, on screen, and on, on, on other media. Um, so I think the difficult thing in CSS is actually the different frameworks and architectures you, you, you meet. Um, <clears throat> should I use old CSS? Should I use BAM? Should I use a mix of both? What framework should I use? What architecture should I use? And um, oftentimes, um, if you inherit a project, um, you need to fight with the, uh, the important monsters where you have loads of important um, written in, within a CSS. Um, there's also compatibility. Um, if you have to deal with IE, it's a pain, uh, especially 10 and 11. I, I know some, some people are still fighting um, to use it. And um, <coughs> cross-browser compatibility is actually a huge developmental task. 
because you need to understand um, what browser supports uh, can support what. <clears throat> For example, like Flex, even though it's supported on IE, um, it is an old version. Grid um, as well, but Grid doesn't work as well. And um, UI testing in general, if you were to do um, CSS, is actually very difficult because there's no like unit testing um, for for UI. And um, visually small things that 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 take a lot of time to get right is actually very difficult to do in CSS. So um, continuing on, um, naming things are also very difficult because um, how do you do you name like an, an element a card or, or how do you how do you how do you name name things? And uh, writing maintainable, efficient CSS is even harder. So, front-end developers actually need to have a very strong understanding of how your entire website works, and um, you need to. It's it's like a huge uh, mental map that you need to know in order to 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 build your site efficiently and effectively. <coughs> and uh, next, JavaScript, which is uh, everyone's favorite language. So, with JavaScript, um. There is so much frameworks coming in every month. Uh, there's actually even a website that that um, tells you like the days since the last JavaScript framework. So with JavaScript, you need to know like, uh, do I need a framework? Do I should I use React? Should I use Vue? Do I even need jQuery? Um, so like for me, I started when I started front end. I I actually started with jQuery, but I think after doing it for a long time, you realize that do I actually need to import this library just to use a particular function where actually I can write it in um, just with pure JavaScript? And um, there's actually a website um, you might not need in JavaScript, uh, jQuery.com, which tells you like how the functions are um, in jQuery and in JavaScript. And um, graceful decoration. So, what if a user can't use JavaScript at all? How do you how do you um, how do you do? What do you do in that case? And um, also, managing state without a framework is hard. So if you ever tried to, say, show or hide a particular um, element, and you do that for like, say, ten pages, that's 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 a real nightmare. So, that's just it, right? No. So, I work in an agency, and um, unfortunately, there's always I uh, got so crushing UI changes where the client tells me. Can you adjust this input box uh, eight pixels more to the right? Or we like to scrape the previous design, and um, we have to redo everything, and let's let's have it done in two weeks. Um, there's also optimization and performance we need to consider. Um, how come it's loading so slow in a particular browser? How come it's rendering it differently in IE? And um, the question that my project manager likes to ask: Can you give me an estimate on how long this will take? And that's just it, right? Uh, there are other no, there are other things like frameworks, libraries, people testing, dependencies, plugins, um, understanding user experience, and uh, again the same dreaded question: Can you give me an estimate of how long this will take? So what can we do about it? I mean, the brutal honest answer is to not be a front-end developer because I think we chose we chose this career to to. To solve solve problems, um, we are the bridge between designers, back end, and people with different disciplines. Um, building websites is about marrying the three set, the three languages, which is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript together, and um, educating people on why front end development is hard because it is development, and um, and also it's good to know that front end development is often um, a process of discovery. So a developer only learns. What he needs to develop when, as the product evolves, like initially, even at the start, say you have you have yeah, you task to do a project, you won't know, and the, the entire of the pro product until you start building it. And um, so this is a roadmap. Um, it's quite a popular roadmap that you can go online and see, which tells you sort of what you need to learn to be a front-end developer, um, which is actually quite. It's, it's, it's a lot of stuff there. So um, with that, I leave you with this. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you. Any questions? Ma'am, 
the questions of being chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice to make it a bit easier? To, sorry, to what? Like, do you have any advice, like, how do you make the chili run a bit easier? Mm. I mean, it's... <laughs> 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 that, that I can answer after, the, after, after everything else, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you quit? <laughs> uh, because 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 I love complex uh, problems and I think front, front end front end it's uh, it's it's challenging and yet rewarding when you when you when you figure out how to solve a particular issue. Yeah. Um, so how do you think about service workers? Because as soon as those came along, I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so. How, how do you feel? Or? How do you feel about them? I mean, like you said, you work in agencies. So yeah. you're doing lots of service workers, and how has that like, changed your feeling about front end? So, um, in terms of, well, I mean, clients can be a pain because they don't know what they want. And uh, oftentimes, you can only go in to, to sort of say, I think this is what you want. And when you start building a, pro a product, and then they'll be like, oh, actually, you want something else, and, 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 and actually explore that. And then it turns out that they want something else. So it's, it's, I think you have to take in mind that what you built initially would not be what, what's the final product. Yeah. How much customization do you do per client, though? I would imagine you have a lot of commonality between different things to keep your sanity, or do you not? Which is why you don't have any sanity. <laughs> the, the latter, basically, ah. yeah. Okay. All right, any other questions? All right, thank you very much, Jacob. Thank you. For sharing your pain. <laughs> <laughs>